Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys the difference between a positive and a negative slope. So let's start with these two slopes. We have one and we have negative one. So I'm actually going to start at the origin zero zero for both of these slopes. So remember, the slope is the rise over the run. The rise is how much you go up or down by, and the run is how much you go to the left or to the right by. Think about running. You go, you go this way or this way, right? And rising is how much you go up or down by possibly. So let's first do the slope of one. Well, one, we need to put it into the fraction form. So one, this would equal this fraction form one over one, right? So meaning one would be the rise and one would be the run. So the rise, because this is positive, we go up by one. So up and the run this is positive, so we go to the right by one. And we do this again, up by one and to the right by one. So right here, up by one to the right by one, right here, by one and to the right by one over here, and we keep on doing it until we have no space left on the graph. Now, one over one, isn't this the same thing as negative one over negative one? Yeah, it is, because both a negative over a negative is a positive. So we could also do negative one over negative one, meaning a negative slope is going down and to the and because the run is negative, we're going to the left. So this now we go down, down one and to the left by one. So right here now down one again and to the left one again. And keep on doing this until there's no space left in our graph. So now, as you see, if I connect all these points, we have a line. So with the slope, you can graph a line. Now let's try m equals negative one. So negative one in fraction form, this would be negative one over one, right? So for a rise over run, well, as you see, this is negative one. So our rise, now this would be negative. So we go down. So now we have, we go down by one and we go to the, we still go to the right by one because the run is positive. Down by one to the right. Down by one to the right. Down, right, and down, right. However, this could also be one over negative one. Meaning we could have the rise be positive and the run be negative. So we could go up by one and to the left by one. So up by one to the left by one, up by one to the left by one, and up by one to the left by one. And now as you see, if we connect these points, our line would look something like this. And notice how one and negative one, they're complete opposites. They intersect and they go opposite ways. So that's how you graph a positive versus a negative slope.